Where's Bane? Where is he? Hello, it's James from X Robots. This is part four of the 3D printed bat suit, supported by Ninja Tech 3D printing filaments, including Cheetah Armadillo and Ninja Flex. This time we're going to be sorting out the bat belt and, of course, the bat pants. And I wore substitute bat pants in the last video. And the reason I wore substitute bat pants in the last video, as well as being able to see where my waist belt is, is because when you're wearing a skin tight suit, it gets pretty risky without your bat pants on. So as well as a cosmetic piece of the suit which goes in that region, the answer to that is also some sportswear. Yes, these are pro briefs from Slazenger, which is sportswear. And these are for playing cricket in, and they have a very special pocket at the front. You can put a rigid piece in to protect yourself from cricket balls and mallets which is great, but it also gives you a rather good bat pants shape under the cosmetic sections. The main focus for this video, however, is making the bat belt, which goes in here and have a small cosmetic piece attached for the bat pants, but mostly we want to be making a belt full of gadgets. And the plan for that is, of course, to have an actual belt buckle, which can do up and undo so I can get it off for easy access, and that's going to fit under a cosmetic section here, which is going to have some more stuff screwed to the top. We've also got two side pieces that fit on each side of the belt, and those are going to have pouches attached, but I want to make the underlying pieces out of Ninja Flex Cheetah so they're flexible, and we can attach the strap there. And these have got big holes in the middle, so those will shape around my hips, and they should stay up. Now we've got various other points which are going to anchor up and down to the existing pieces of the suit, and also down onto the thighs, and we'll have a piece, of course, for the back pants that sits in the middle, and that will tie off to those pieces as well. So here are the side pieces which fit neatly underneath those scoop sections there and we've got the belt buckles going to fit on the front covered by this section which is going to fit just over it and probably be stuck on with bungee or something. So let's get that belt assembled and see if it fits. So I've put some webbing strap on, I'll probably put a stitch through when I get the size right. For now I've got these adjusters, we've got a piece at the back of the belt and then at the other ends of course we've got the two sides of the buckle. So here it is fitted, that seems to fit pretty well and we've got the buckle piece that goes over the buckle and that will be attached with bungees to actually grip that strap. So now we need to make some stuff to mount on it. The plan for most of this is to use yellow Ninja Flex to make various pouches and things and that's the really flexible stuff which we need the Lulzbot Flexi Extruder to print. So I've made a cover for my buckle here and I've made some pouches that go either side which are going to hold some very special items. So the plan here is we've got a black cheetah bat logo on top of our black box and that's sandwiched in between with a recess and we've got the yellow Ninja Flex bushing kind of thing that goes over it, it's almost like a bumper but that leaves some screw holes in the corners for attaching other things and basically what I've done is recessed the logo in there so if we go and hide the logo and the buckle we can see that we've got this recess and the plan was to have the bat logo so that we can press it and it will flex inward to actually press a switch which can activate some electronics and I'm not sure if that's going to fit uh, we'll have to see when the buckle's in there, otherwise I'll put that somewhere else. But let's build it like that and see how it goes. So here are my printed parts, we've got our bat logo printed in Cheetah which is actually pretty rigid because it's kind of a box, the bottom is flexible but the actual logo is pretty rigid so uh, that's quite good and that should fit into the big bumper for the belt buckle there, we've still got lots of support material to take out but it should separate pretty well, we should be able to tear that out with some pliers, do that in a minute and we've also got these two things which are here to hold little flashlights that I picked up. So they should fit neatly in there and those should go either side of the buckle. So that should look pretty good. So let's tear that support material out and check that fits on there and this sits inside. Right, I've removed most of the support material, it was pretty tough but I've got most of it away cleanly. So now we've got our bat belt bumper and a piece that fits in the back there made of cheetah and then that should fit over there like that. There we go, so that's the bat logo recessed in there. So uh, yeah, with that bolted on, 
should be pretty flexible so we should be able to press a switch on the back hopefully but we'll see how that works out if there's space with the buckle and everything right so there's my buckle fitted i've put some socket cap m4s in there which hold it to the back and i've got my flashlights fitted in there so my buckle is in the back there and it's held on with some bungee that's attached between the other end of those bolts but it's actually quite awkward to undo because of the bungee holding it and that's all that holds this piece on so what i've also done is put a buckle at the back so the next part of this is to put some pods on the actual belt with various things in. And those look like this. These are going to be printed in two parts with a flexible cheetah base and a ninja flex top in yellow ninja flex again. And basically that's how they're going to open. So the bottom is going to be bolted through and the top has got a little tab so that it sort of flexes over. And that means I can keep batarangs and all sorts of gadgets in there. What I've decided to do with the electronics is in fact make a very special pod on the other side. That has a rigid plate in. I can mount electronics, LEDs and switches. And that's going to be connected wirelessly to the gauntlet I made last time. Right, here it is, so I've got those pods installed. Those are just bolted through, so on the other side, we've got a load of countersink uh, bolts there and nuts on the inside of the pods. And to get inside those, the top is very flexible because it's Ninja Flex, so that just pops over the little catch. And that one's got some batarangs inside where we're probably gonna put some other things in. So you should be able to see my special electronics pod has a little red flashing light in, and in fact, that's removable top and bottom unlike the others that have bolts in, so that can be removed completely and put onto another accessory. So I'll have a corresponding Ninja Flakes yellow piece fitted in the gauntlet here that I made last time, and that's quite squashy and there's a switch in it, so if I press just there, we should see a little red light pops up on there. And in fact, what you can see now is both LEDs flashing together, and that's because they're Bluetooth modules and they've just paired. So what we've got in those modules, of course, is some electronics. Each one's got a 7.4 volt LiPo, a 5 volt regulator and a little Bluetooth board. It's a bit shoehorned in that one, but the things all do fit. Obviously, this one's got a little switch which powers it up. So as you squash that, basically it powers up the Bluetooth module and that pairs with the other one. Now, these Bluetooth modules have a state pin on which changes state when they're paired. So even though there's no Arduino in there, there's no actual data changing, I can tell when they're paired. And this module, of course, detaches from the belt altogether, so that can be clipped onto another accessory, so I can make sure it doesn't turn on until I press my back gauntlet, so it could be used to start the backboard or something else. So those are all my modules fitted to the belt. We've also got these little strap points that go up to the ab section, and those are just looped underneath these things, so I can easily detach those. Of course, they're flexible, so those just pop straight back on. And I've also made this cod plate that's just going to bolt to the bottom of the belt and that's got strapping points to go down to the thighs. There are a few comments about the chest plate looking a bit puny. Now it does fit me well and it doesn't overlap the arms and shoulders so I've got good mobility but maybe it's not the right sort of style for Batman so I've made a couple of extra pieces which are these sections which bolt onto the back and they'll replace the triangular piece with the elastic strap so those should help bulk up that chest a bit, give it a nice edge and also hopefully hold those chest pieces in a kind of curved shape which is what I'd intended in the first place instead of them flapping around on the webbing strap that I've got. So the current piece I've got is this triangle with a piece of bungee on that ties back and we're going to replace that with these which fit right under there and those are going to bolt onto the same holes so that should help bolt the chest up. Right, those are attached, so that looks marginally more bulkier. And the belt sits on there, and I've got those little clips attached around the ab plates there, so that holds it all nice and secure. Around the back here, you can now see some lumps on my back, which are attached to the back strapping, so it gives me something that looks like armoured shoulder blades. I might uh, go and extend those so they come right up to the pieces where the cape is attached there, but it now means my neck comes around in a nice curve, and there's less of a box in my back. And that's a rigid piece printed in armadillo attached to that strapping system at the back. So I may reshape that as I say, but for now that will do. I've also installed a magnet under each edge of the cape there. So that holds it just on the off the shoulder look. So there's a corresponding magnet inside the shoulder there. That just holds it in exactly the right place. Right, it's time to put the whole thing on again. Right, there it is. So look at that. So that's all of the story so far with all of the pieces of the suit attached. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. This seems to fit and my cod plate seems to be in just the right place there. So I've got my cricket sportswear on underneath. So uh, perhaps it looks bulkier than it should, I don't know. 
But uh, yeah, the belt seems to fit pretty well. It all holds itself up. Obviously, it's strapped right round. It's attached to those ab points, so that helps pull the front down, which compensates for the weight of the cloak at the back. That seems to sit on the shoulders pretty well, so I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy with my bulked out chest. If I just stand a bit like this, that looks a bit better. Obviously, all of these sections are modular, so we could change them, although I'm feeling a bit happier with the abs than I was. Still haven't fixed that fabric on, but there we go. We've got more 3D printed fabric to put on as we go. So uh, altogether, pretty happy with that. I think the belt sets it off. And obviously those points will strap down to the thighs, as will the pieces at the bottom of the, the uh, bottom of the belt there to sort of hold all that in place. So the whole thing makes up kind of a big webbing system as we go. But there we go, I think that looks pretty good. All right, that's the end of this video. Next time we're gonna be working our way down and doing at least the thighs and hopefully all of the legs in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this project and all the other projects. Thanks again to Ninja Tech for supporting this project. That's all for now.